and welcome back. There's a few things I want to get done today. The rock melon needs to come out. I've still got two, a small one over there. As you can see, the vine is basically dead. This one looks to be just about ripe. It's probably not hanging on by much. No. done quite well with with these considering how late these were put in because summer finished two months ago and this one's still very green oh just let go okay still looks green but I'll leave that one a while before we try it Now the, all the tomatoes in here are gone. Um, what else? The beans will be removed today. And in the greenhouse, now I put in couple of the sweet potato slips a week ago um, just to compare uh, to the ones in water and I also put a couple in pot plants uh, over here and I've been changing the water every few days however I'm going to have to take everything out here of the hydroponics because my pump has died I noticed yesterday so I need to move all the, the strawberries out and put them into pots um, because after winter I would want to get a strawberry garden actually going probably put them in where the sweet potatoes were. Um, so I've got, and we've also got some uh, tulips which are going to be planted out here. Now these are the, the beds I had uh, tomatoes in. So I've had one there and another one over here between all the, the raised beds. But they never really did any um, good because of just too much heat. So we're getting the westerly sun up against the, uh, the shed. And it was also difficult to water because I haven't got a, didn't have a watering system set up on that. I had to manually water them. So I've moved them around here. Plus an extra one I've always had but never put together. So I'll grow a few things in. Oh yeah, so it's going to be a lot more convenient for watering. Now, I do need to get some carrots before I do anything else. ones, oh, that's still orange inside, can we cut them, not very big, Carrot. Rex. Probably not. You don't want it? 
not invested. It's very related, like anything else. You're not having those ones. In here, I'm planting pak choy. It's supposed to be a spacing of 100 mil. I'm just doing it every 50 because once they get established, I'll take every second one out and transplant them into the hydroponics. And I'm only planting half of the and I'm using half of the container at the moment. Because once I get established then I'll plant the other half. I don't really want them all ready to harvest at the same time because we'll never eat them. Yeah. So the auger bit I bought online, it's really good for getting into smaller areas where you can't get the um, rotary hoe into. You don't want to dig up other plants. Apparently that's important when you've got hidden bulbs. <laughs> Someone thinks it's important. But it'll dig through really hard ground, so it's, it's definitely been worth it. Catherine's planting tulips. <laughs> 